because ye rebelled against my commandment in the wilderness of Zin, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribath Kadesh in the wilderness of Zindat. And Moses spoke unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, who may go out before them, and who may come in before them, and who may lead them out, and who may bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is spirit, and lay thy hand upon him. And set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. And thou shalt put of thy honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may hearken. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word shall they go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Israel with him, even all the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and he took Joshua, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him, and gave him a charge, as the Lord spoke by the hand of Moses. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, My food which is presented unto me for offerings made by fire, of a sweet savor unto me, shall ye observe to offer unto me in its due season. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by fire which ye shall bring unto the Lord, he lambs of the first year without blemish, two day by day, for a continual burnt offering. The one lamb shalt thou offer in the morning, and the other lamb shalt thou offer at dusk. And the tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mingled with the fourth part of a hin of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering, which was offered in Mount Sinai, for a sweet savor, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And the drink offering thereof shall be the fourth part of a hin for the one lamb. In the holy place shalt thou pour out a drink offering of strong drink unto the Lord. And the other lamb shalt thou present at dusk, as the meal offering of the morning, and as the drink offering thereof, thou shalt present it, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. And on the Sabbath day two he lambs of the first year without blemish, and two tenth parts of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mingled with oil, and the drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, beside the continual burnt offering, and the drink offering thereof. And in your new moons ye shall present a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks, and one ram, seven he lambs of the first year without blemish, and three tenth parts of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mingled with oil, for each bullock, and two tenth parts of fine flour for a meal offering, mingled with oil, for the one ram, and a several tenth part of fine flour mingled with oil for a meal offering unto every lamb, for a burnt offering of a sweet savor, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And their drink offerings shall be half a hin of wine for a bullock, and the third part of a hin for the ram, and the fourth part of a hin for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every new moon throughout the months of the year. And one he goat for a sin offering unto the Lord. It shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering, and the drink offering thereof. And in the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth day of this month shall be a feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. In the first day shall be a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work. But ye shall present an offering made by fire, a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks, and one ram, and seven he lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, three tenth parts shall ye offer for a bullock, and two tenth parts for the ram. A several tenth part shalt thou offer for every lamb of the seven lambs and one he goat for a sin offering, to make atonement for you. Ye shall offer these beside the burnt offering of the morning, which is for a continual burnt offering. 
After this manner ye shall offer daily, for seven days, the food of the offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. It shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering, and the drink offering thereof. And on the seventh day ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work. Also in the day of the first fruits, when ye bring a new meal offering unto the Lord in your feast of weeks, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work. But ye shall present a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord, two young bullocks, one ram, seven he lambs of the first year. And their meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, three tenth parts for each bullock, two tenth parts for the one ram, a several tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, one he goat, to make atonement for you. Beside the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering thereof, ye shall offer them, they shall be unto you without blemish, and their drink offerings. And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work. It is the day of blowing the horn unto you. And ye shall prepare a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord, one young bullock, one ram, seven he lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, three tenth parts for the bullock, two tenth part for the ram and one-tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, and one he goat for a sin offering, to make atonement for you. Beside the burnt offering of the new moon, and the meal offering thereof, and the continual burnt offering and the meal offering thereof, and their drink offerings, according unto their ordinance, for a sweet savor, an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And on the tenth day of this seventh month ye shall have a holy convocation, and ye shall afflict your souls, ye shall do no manner of work. But ye shall present a burnt offering unto the Lord for a sweet savor, one young bullock, one ram, seven he lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, three tenth parts for the bullock, two tenth parts for the one ram, a several tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, one he goat for a sin offering, beside the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering thereof, and their drink offerings. And on the fifteenth day of the seventh month ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work, and ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. And ye shall present a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord thirteen young bullocks, two rams, fourteen he lambs of the first year, they shall be without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mingled with oil, three tenth parts for every bullock of the thirteen bullocks, two tenth parts for each ram of the two rams, and a several tenth part for every lamb of the fourteen lambs. And one he goat for a sin offering beside the continual burnt offering, the meal offering thereof, and the drink offering thereof, and on the second day ye shall present twelve young bullocks, two rams, fourteen he lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance. And one he goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering thereof, and their drink offerings. And on the third day eleven bullocks, two rams, fourteen he lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance.